Hey everybody, it's Jeffrey with DetachDesigns.com and what I'm going to show you today is how you can create just a simple accordion. And this is something that I see get asked quite often, but uh, even if it's something you don't want to do in your, in your uh, web applications, uh, if you're trying to learn jQuery, do, do watch this because you'll get a good idea of some of the concepts. So, let's get right into it. I'm going to create a div with an ID of container. And inside, I'm just going to paste the definition list. And I'll go over this real quickly. In the definition list, we'll have a definition term. And the definition term will hold the main heading. So we'll have home, we'll have about, I think there's four of them. We'll have blog, and we'll have contact. Okay? Now, inside the actual definition, we'll have an unordered list that has some generic links. Okay? And that's true for each one. So pretty simple. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of setup. I'm going to import my .js file and my style sheet. And by the way, uh, just today, in uh, today's, I think, the 21st, a new version of jQuery came out. So, so go to the website, jQuery.com, and you can get the update. And I've also imported just a blank style sheet. So let's do just some initial styling. We'll view it in the browser. Get this set up. We'll do definition list, definition term, the definition, the unordered list, the list item. I think that's good. And we're just going to reset those margins back to zero so it's consistent across all browsers. And then for the anchor tag, let's get rid of that underline and just change the color back to a, a black. For the list item, let's give it a little bit of padding on the left. I don't know, say, um, that's fine. And on the definition list, let's give the width, just stays in pixels, and then the last definition term, and remember the definition term is what home, about, log, and contact are nested within. Let's give the background color. Okay. I think that's fine. This isn't a design tutorial, so style it however you want. This is a technique tutorial. Okay, so let's view it in design mode. Oh, one more thing I forgot to do. For the list items, let's give get rid of the list style type. None. And let's do this. Within the container, the div container that we created, just set the margins to auto. Okay. So, we got everything set up. Let's just write some code. Script type equals JavaScript. Now it always helps me best if I just kind of go over out loud what I'm trying to accomplish. So when the user clicks, well first of all, we don't want all of these um, secondary links to be showing. So we want to get rid of them or hide them, maybe except the first bar. And then when the user clicks one of these main headings with the, the orange background, we want to close any other um, definition that is open and then we want to expand the one that the user clicked. Okay? So now that we have an idea of what we're trying to do, let's get started. We're going to do our standard document.ready. Okay, now a quick tip about this. What I'm writing here, it's just shorthand for this. Okay, so you can do either one of these, they do the exact same thing. I'm just doing this because it's a little bit shorter, but neither one's better. So, let's go for the first part that, that I mentioned. We want to close all of the definitions except the first one, okay? So, to jQuery, we're going to get all definitions except the first one. Okay, so definitions, but not the first one. We're going to hide them. Okay, does that make sense? Get all of the definitions, but not the first one, which is right here, and hide them. Let's run that in the browser. Okay, there we go. 
Delta. Let's get back to work. And you know what? I'm going to add one more rule to my style sheet. For the definition term, just add a, a border to the bottom of it. Just say um, one thick solid black. Who cares? Yeah, that's fine. So, we're on our way. Next, when the user clicks on one of the headings, we want to display it and get rid of all the other ones. Okay? So, when, where's the heading? The heading is stored within the definition term. So we're going to get a definition term and the anchor tag within it. So we're, we're targeting this for each heading, for each, uh, excuse me, for each definition term. So when that is clicked, we're going to run a function. And the first part of that function is to close up all of the definition terms. That's easy enough. Get all the definition terms. And we're going to use an animation method supplied by jQuery called slide up. Okay? And it can accept uh, any kind of number value or it also set accepts generic values like slow and normal and fast. So let's just do it fast. So get all definition terms and slide them up fast. And uh, if you're more advanced, I'm intentionally doing this a little bit slower for the for the newer people. So we'll take each one step by step. We click a link, okay, and they all slide up. So we're not achieving exactly what we want yet, but we're getting there. Okay, so next, we want to then slide down the, um, the definition that the user selected. So if they selected about, we want to close all of the other definitions up, but then expand only this definition. So, let's do get this. I'm gonna, this, I know some of you are confused by that. This just refers to the event. So here, we have definition term anchor tag dot click. This is referring to that anchor tag that was clicked, okay? So it's, it's just a way of isolating that ex that a specific uh, definition term. So the way we're going to target, we're going to go up and around. So when they click this, we want to go to its parent, which is the definition term, and then find the next sibling, which is the definition. Okay. So we'll go this dot parent. That is a definition term. That's the name of the parent. And then let's go next to that definition. So we're kind of going up and around, and then we're going to do slide down, and we'll just do it at a normal speed. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. And let's see, I must have made some quick mistake. Definition. Give me just a moment to work through this. When the definition term is clicked, we're going to run a function. Let's see the definition term. There it is. Sorry about that. And this is part of the reason why I'm doing this from scratch because you'll make a lot of brain freezes too, so this will kind of see you, um, you'll be able to see me work through them. And in this case, I just accidentally selected definition term instead of the actual definition. So you can see, I'm going to click log and they slide up. So you can see how quickly, I mean, let's let's take a look at this. We have very little code here, five lines of code. And we already have a working accordion. Now, here's one thing. If using Firefox, you may see when I do this click, it gets this little nasty outline. Well, we don't want that. But it's very easy to get rid of. Let's go back into our style sheet. And we'll do outline none. And then front in the browser. Click it, and now you can see that little outline isn't showing up anymore. So, as you can see with jQuery, it's it's very simple to do these things, and you can immediately um, add some finesse to your menus. So, if this helped you, please uh, visit detachedesigns.com/blog. I update it with tutorials at least every day, if not a couple times a day. So, thanks a lot, everyone. Have a good day.